Right, Marlon, I asked you a couple of weeks ago what your best goal in the Football League was, and you obviously you only had one to choose yeah. from. We said it was quite a lucky one, so does this one uh, take the biscuit? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, obviously, it's nice being a bit more advanced, putting a bit of pressure on their centre midfield, and obviously, uh, you know, that pressure paid off, you know, getting the ball off uh, you know, one of their mistakes and on the edge of the box, and obviously, I had a try my luck, and it's gone in. Yeah, um, it was it was one of those examples that happens a lot during the game where you were just a bit sharper then, weren't you? You get into things first and working hard. Yeah, I think um, obviously that that was clear to see how how hard we worked, and you know, maybe we seem to like maybe got the balance right of maybe going forward, pressing, and sometimes sitting off. And I think we you know we made it hard for them, so we are we worked really hard, but then when we were on the ball, we uh, showed quality. Yeah, how did you find the four four two? Bit more of a sort of traditional formation, wasn't it on Tuesday? Yeah. Um, then we just seemed it seemed like everything was going right as such, you know. Our shape seemed to be good, we made it hard for them to play. And like I said, and when we had the ball, you know, we seemed to use it well. Yeah, you, you it's your first goal for Cheltenham but you have been playing a lot of deep positions, but you've shown yeah. that you can strike the ball when you get into the positions. Um yeah, like I said to you before, um, you know, I'd like to start scoring a few more goals and hopefully, you know, this gives me a bit of a you know, kick start from here. Yeah. Um now coming up against one of your former loan clubs, um, talk yeah. about, tell me about your loan spell at Wickham last season. Um, it was my first loan spell, you know, just coming out with youth football and you know playing reserve football, my first professional contract, and you know, it went really well. To you know, in September I went, you know, my f- only being 18, going to the League One club. I was there for two months. Um, no, I think I played nine games, which is not bad. Uh, obviously, unfortunately, Peter Taylor got sat there. So new manager come in with different ideas and then I went back to Portsmouth but you know it was my first taste of proper league football and I enjoyed it there. Yeah, what was Peter Taylor like to play for? Did you did you speak did you have a chat with him on Tuesday? No I didn't but yeah he was obviously a great manager to work for. You know, you have a look at his you know credibility, you know, managing England under twenty ones level and he obviously seems to you know have a good manage with the younger players and yep. obviously him bringing me there. Obviously I'm thankful for him to basically give him my start properly in league football. Yeah, have you always looked out for the results since you since you went back um, to football? Yeah, well, kind of, obviously. You know, I was only there for two months, so yeah. I didn't really get too attached. And But obviously, yeah, you know, you have a look out. It was a bit disappointing seeing them get relegated last year, but, you know, they've started off the season well and they'll probably be contenders to go up. Yeah, it's all, it's all part of the plan to develop you as a footballer, isn't it? Getting these loan spells at Wickham, Dagenham and now Cheltenham. Do you think yeah. you're, you're on the right track? Towards? Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm still only, I'm still only 19. You know, I've played quite a few games now, and it's all about learning. You know, I just want to be playing, you know, and I'm enjoying my time here. You know, it's a, a, a lot to be honest, and probably the most happy I've happy I've been really. You know, getting a good run on the side, start the team is doing well. You know, a good bunch of lads, yeah, good backroom staff, and like I said, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, did you have some family there on Tuesday? Because I noticed yeah. people celebrating in the stand a bit more. Yeah, than everyone mum, else and, was. mum and dad there, and my girlfriend were there. So, um, you know, yeah, it was nice, yeah, especially to score a goal. My yeah. first for Cheltenham, and obviously it's good when your uh, parents are there and your family are there. Yeah, I think the big watchword after the South End game was we we, not, we can't get carried away with um, a decent start. You know, everyone needs to come back down to earth. But when you play like you did on Tuesday, it's it's difficult to see what you got to be scared of in this league, isn't it? Yeah, um, obviously you can't get carried away. You know, it's still a lot of a lot of games to go, and you know you don't know what happens. But you know, I think the majority of the lads said you know South End was a one-off game. We didn't we didn't uh, you know we didn't show what we are capable of and. You know, let's you know, never see, never know what happens if we carry on playing like we did against Bradford for the majority of the season. You know, who knows? But you know, we got to keep uh, get our heads down. We got a game on Saturday against Wickham, and then you know we got the game against Southend as well a couple of days later. So you know, it'd be great to pick off you know maximum points for them games. You know, just see what happens. Psychologically, was it nice to get above that playoff line because you've been just hovering below it with the game in hand for a long time now? Yeah, you know, was, like I said, it was disappointing if we did you know beat Southend. You know, we'd have been in there, but. You know, we've been there roundabout since I've been here and it was obviously talky you've got a game in hand over us but yeah it's nice to be in there and you know, like I said it's just our job now to maintain our place in there Yeah I think when you have crept into the playoff positions early in the season it might have been uh, before you were sort of playing regularly yeah. but you, you haven't been able to consolidate it have you been in dropped out been in dropped out yeah. but the key now is to find a bit of consistency isn't it Yeah definitely you know get, get a few wins especially over this busy period and like I said you never know what happens um, but like I said Wickham will be a tough game but you know, if we perform like we did against Bradford, you know, you never know what will happen. Yeah. Any players that particularly impress you when you're at Wickham that's still there that you can think of um, sort of dangerous players or? Well, uh, Monty Lewis Montrose was here, wasn't he? Um, yep. 
he was, you know, he seemed to be a good player down there. I think uh, there was Matty Phillips that was there, but he's now gone to Blackpool. But there's a few, uh, it's just still got a good few good players, obviously, that played in League One. But I think the new manager's brought in like, a lot of his own fa old, old faces have gone and he's been in his own new players. So it'd be quite a different, you know, side. But I think there's a few lads still down there, yeah. you know, that I know from my time. Yeah.